Okay, so this is the close-up of the industrial. First thing, your piercer needs to always make sure they clean the inside and outside of your ear. Get all the crevices. Your ear carries the most dirt and bacteria. So you want to make sure it's nice and clean. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to place two little marks so we know the angle that we're going at. Now this is two piercings. It's a back helix piercing and a forward helix piercing. Now like I've described in my other videos before, not everybody is suitable for this piercing. So check your ear to make sure and get a consultation with your piercer. This is your back helix right here. If your back helix goes behind the flat of your ear, you're not suitable. The bar cannot rest on the flat of your ear. Otherwise, it'll cause you extreme pain and it'll even give you headaches. Touch your head. Big breath in, big breath out. Now the height and the angle of this piercing is very crucial. It's got to be on the same angle both times. So your piercer should always make sure that the needle angle is aligned with the other one. Big breath in, big breath out. Now, once you get pierced, you always make sure that that bar has plenty of space from the flat of your ear. And you should always, always be able to see a small portion of that bar on both sides because there is swelling that's going to happen. So you want to have room for it to swell. You don't want these balls to be touching the sides of the ear. Otherwise, when it swells, it's going to cause some severe pain. Now, one way to always check to make sure that it's a good piercing is you could take a little tiny piece of paper, and as long as it goes underneath, you're perfectly good. Okay? As far as aftercare for this piercing, I want you guys to get yourself a mild soap. Dove sensitive skin is probably the best soap to get. You're going to wash it once a day. You're also going to get yourself Neil Meds Piercing Aftercare. This is probably by far the best piercing aftercare I've come across, okay? You're going to apply this three times a day from the top, the inside, the inside, the outside. Three times a day. I don't want you guys sleeping on this side for at least six months. You're going to be in pain for a couple months. It's going to be sore. This piercing takes at least one year to fully heal, okay? So you got to maintain it. Otherwise, you will get an infection. This piercing is a very easy piercing to get infected. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, shoot me a message at underscore Sean Pierce.